Hi, it's Travis White with the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. Is it possible to live life without PowerPoint? That's a question I asked myself about a year ago, and I've tried to reduce the use of PowerPoint throughout the past year. And what I've found is that it makes my presentations more flexible and more interactive. And I'll often step forward to present to an audience, and I'll ask them, is it okay if I don't use PowerPoint today? And you can almost feel the tension flowing out of the room, the defense mechanism starting to lower. And what I've learned is that when we st set up our PowerPoints, when we project a PowerPoint presentation, audience defenses rise almost automatically. By not using PowerPoint, we lower the, the defenses, we lower the mechanisms that filter out our messages. I've also found that it makes me more imaginative. I can imagine and deliver messages about anything that I can think about, not just those things that I can figure out how to put on a PowerPoint slide. It also makes us more interactive. The audience participates because their defense mechanisms are lowered, because their filters are lower. So I'd urge you to think about how much do you really need to use PowerPoint? And we've talked in the past about PowerPoint and simplifying the PowerPoint slides and that you're the star of the show and the PowerPoint slides should be there to support you. Perhaps we can simplify all the way to the point that you don't need to use slides, you don't need to use PowerPoint, and you can connect more readily, more naturally, more organically with your audience. I'd suggest that you give it a try. I'd suggest that you use whiteboard or flip chart, that you write out your, your messages, and then you interact with your audience. One of the things that allows you to do is outline your message on a whiteboard, and then you can turn to your audience and say, this is what I've been thinking about talking about. What additional things would you like me to talk about? What's on your mind that I haven't anticipated? That allows you to speak to the audience's needs, to their desires, to their information requirements, rather than just having a pre-canned uh, set, uh, set of data, set of communication points that may or may not connect with what the audience really needs to hear. So what we found is that PowerPoint, it raises the floor but lowers the ceiling. PowerPoint raises the floor in the sense that truly awful presentations usually get a little bit better because we have something to organize the presentation and we have visual aids. But at the same time, it lowers the ceiling. The truly great presentations don't get made because PowerPoint lowers those expectations and causes the defense mechanisms to, to come up. So think about some of the great presentations you've heard. Oftentimes when you go to a trade show, we have motivational speakers. Oftentimes those motivational speakers don't use any PowerPoints at all. Those are the truly great presentations. If you want to be a great presenter, think about not using PowerPoint, speaking more naturally, using whiteboard or flip chart to keep the natural pace and an interactive and flexible dialogue with your customers. That's the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. See you again next week.